Good morning. Today, I'm going to present a fascinating case study concerning the complex panorama of Italian historical events and reenactments. I will present the case study concerning the Palio di Legnano, the oldest historical reenactment in Italy. During the last decade in Italy, we have witnessed an almost exponential increase in the number of historical reenactments. Without considering the anthropological and sociological aspects, the number of Palio, historical reenactments, and festival concerning the Middle Ages and the increasing community performance experiences allows us to investigate the role of costume in them. The academic debate has highlighted the fundamental role of the costume design element within the process of building a community identity. Through the use of costume, through the disguise, the so-called embodiment takes place, that is, the personification of history. As already pointed out by several scholars, the specific function of costume in historical reenactment cannot be traced only to a performative necessity or as a tool needed to build the identity of a community. In historical reenactments, costume carry out and performs a specific task. Costume is, in fact, recognizable as a fundamental medium that contributes both to the construction of the character, but at the same time, is it the instrument that allows a sense of belonging by communities performing the historical event. Through costume, we can achieve a double aim, the identification of the acting subject and, therefore, the identification of the spectator with the historical reenactment. In this context, the specificity and the effectiveness of the embodiment are given by proactive involvement. In particular, in historical reenactments, communities are involved in designing and tailoring new costumes every year. Now, I would like to say a few words to introduce the case study of the Palio di Legnano. Legnano is an Italian city located next to Milan. The city is known above all for the decisive battle that took place on 29 May 1176. On this date, the army of the Imperial Frederick I Barbarossa clashes with the Italian Free Commons in Legnano. Just a year after the battle, the inhabitants of Legnano began to celebrate the event with games and religious celebrations. According to chronicles, we know that already in 1213 in Legnano, there was a horse race, it means the Palio. Due to the political importance of the Battle of Legnano, its celebrations, commemorations, and because of the game of the Palio, during the 16th century, the Archbishops of Milan recognized it as a religious and civic festivity. Unlike other Italian historical events, the Palio di Legnano is actually given by three specific and insoluble moments. Religious services, which date back to 1176, the historical parade, performed since the mid-19th century, and the horse race. To this, we can also identify other moments which mark the life of the city. All these are performed thanks to the use of historical costumes. The Palio is therefore the union of several elements and, among them, the historical parade is the most significant one. Indeed, the historical parade is a moment that actively involves the whole city and the entire interland of Legnano. Since 1876 onwards, the celebration of the Palio became increasingly important thanks to the creation of the historical parade, the first in Italy. Despite the war suspension during the 40s, it is essential to point out that the Palio and its historical parade have been celebrated continuously until today. The strength of this, this event lies in the social cohesion and self-consciousness dictated not but by the horse race, but 
at the historical parade itself. It means through the performance of an historical event and through the creation of new costume. Furthermore, this specific historical reenactment only comes to life thanks to the presence of a unique reality, the Contrade. We can translate this word as districts. Today, Legnano is divided into eight districts according to the 13th century tradition. Each district is characterized by its own social life, traditions, and activities. The headquarters in which the Contrada recognizes is called Maniero, Manor. Significant landmark for the territory, these buildings, in addition to social value, are the beating heart of each community. Costumes, jewelries, archives are kept within these buildings. In them, we can also find tailoring workshops. Since 1876, the Palio di Legnano has continuously been engaged in the creation of costumes, jewelry, arms, and accessories aimed to stage this moment of particular importance for all the communities in Legnano. The historical parade, with its uh, 1,500 local performances belonging to the eight town districts, is a moment that actively involves uh, as spectators and actors, the whole city and the entire interland of Legnano. The historical parade also represents the realization of the local traditions and identities through the costume experiences and knowledge. Indeed, thanks to an active involvement both in tailoring and performing the parade, costumes are properly to be considered as fundamental tools in expressing social and local values. The increasing need to create new costumes and props led, over the years, to a greater awareness of training new generation of people, it means contradaioli, who could still perform what was established in 1925. Moving from a late 19th century historicism and hyperbarism, According to the 1932 Palio Charter, historical authenticity and accuracy in costume design are the feature of the historical parade, a unique example in Italy. In order, in order to support this mission, academics have been charged by the districts in designing costumes for the historical parade. Furthermore, another peculiarity of Legnano, since the 30s, the Charter established that all the objects used during the parade must be made exclusively within the Contrade. Because of a lack of professional tailors, goldsmiths or gunsmiths with expertise in historical reconstruction, people within the district started to train their people through direct teaching experiences, like in a medieval workshop. The increasing need to create new costume and props, as well as to update the assets for the staging of the historical parade led over the years to the greater awareness of training new generation of people who could still perform the parade and create costumes. 1992 is a fundamental turning point in the history of the historical reenactment. In this year, the Contrade and the municipality established the Palio Costume Committee. The aim of this committee, composed of academics and people from the Contrade, is to bring awareness on the question concerning historical costume. In addition to presenting projects related to costume, jewelry, arms, etc., since the early 90s, the Commission denoted itself for a continuous training in which academics hold lessons on history of costumes to people belonging to local communities. Such an educational involvement of the numerous Palio communities, enthusiasts, as well as citizens who are not part of this work, has led to a greater awareness of the cultural and historical heritage expressed by the parade. 
With the Palio Custom Committee, the district had the opportunity to work uh, in a new perspective, particularly thanks to a dialogue between academics and knocking experts. Over the last 20 years, the committee was able to experiment with the philological reconstruction of some of the most important 12th century costumes and textile examples. This creation are not to be understood as a simple copies of the original. They are moments of study, research, and above all, experimentation, as well as training experiences made by the districts under academic control. What has been created within the district over the last 20 years can be considered as a community experience from iconographic research, sartorial design, to embroideries, Costume in Legnano are the result of work carried out among the people in every single community. This creation are also the result of the union of different professional knowledge and skills, to which artistic sensibilities and practical skills create a sense of identity and belonging in a cultural perspective. During the last years, the performing of the historical parade of the Palio di Legnano has also brought out some problems. The question concerning how to stage history in an authentic way and how to consider local historical tradition is the most relevant one. This issue is not of little consequence. It is closely related also to creative freedom in costume designing and historical tailoring. Over the last few years, the Palio Costume Committee deals with several issues which go beyond the simple stylistic and historical definition of clothing. Actually, during the last four years, the Costume Committee focused on the meaning of which memory and tradition have to be chosen for the historical parade. Today, the Palio Costume Committee deals with the critical decision, especially when during more than 100 years of history, different memories, experiences, practices, and traditions have been added together. Because of these questions, the Commission is still considering which option to choose, that is to say, whether to remain attached to historical memory or to continue under the Commission's guidelines. The problem is far from easy to solve. In fact, precluding a tradition could risk distorting the identity of the historical reenactment. The following example will be useful to understand the recent discussion. It is called the problem of horse harnesses and caparisons. Until the 60s, horse harnesses uh, provided the total coverage of the horse, including the crown piece and the use of bridle covered with precious fabrics. This practice preferred, referred to the first Palio edition and, in particular, to the cinematographic experiences. Since the 70s, the Contrade gradually abandoned this typology. They began to create horse harnesses which were historically and stylistically correct. The same problem also arose from the riding of the female figure and of the Chastelaine, the most important female character within the Contrada. Although not historically accurate today, women still ride side saddle. This is just because it's a proper tradition within the history of the historical parade. The Palio di Legnano case demonstrates how historical reenactment can be considered as an interesting example of artistic creation. In particular, this case study shows how costume made within the different communities in Legnano are expression of a multiple multiple identities. I really hope uh, that through this presentation I picked your curiosity and that you can come to visit us and see what being part of this incredible performance is. Also, I would be very grateful if you could share any suggestion or critique. Thank you.